Hi, my name is Keichi Matsuda. I'm a designer and filmmaker. And this is my studio in Hackney Wick in East London. When I was studying my masters at the Bartlett School, I started to think about how we could introduce virtual worlds into physical spaces. And that's when I found out about augmented reality. So I produced a series of concept films uh, called Augmented Hyperreality that speculated on how our environments could be adapted and digitally enhanced by having this ever-present overlay on the city. One of the defining characteristics of augmented reality is that it's subjective, i.e. like everybody can see their own version of the city. And it means that everything is customizable. So if you imagine the city as a series of layers or a series of feeds, you'd be able to subscribe to just the ones that you like. So the city itself becomes a reflection of your tastes and interests. Since the time I started developing those original films, I've always wanted to extend those ideas and continue the research. And now I've just started a self-initiated project that I've backed on Kickstarter called Hyperreality, which is a series of three films, each from the perspective of a different person, set in Medellin, Colombia. We're never actually going to see the faces of these characters, it's all shot point of view, but what I'm thinking is that you'll be able to understand a lot about the character just by looking at those environments. For Dazina Mini Frontiers, I'm going to take a scene in one of the upcoming Hyperreality films and explore what it's like to be driving through the augmented city. So the film's going to look at both the kind of in-car functionality, like what the dashboard of the future might look like, but I think the main focus is going to be on what's happening outside the car, the kind of transport infrastructure. The type of future that I'm imagining is a future where augmented reality is everywhere, it's a part of everything. We don't even consider it as a technology anymore. And it means that uh, a lot of the things that we take for granted uh, in everyday life, uh, like when we're navigating on the streets, that the road markings, the signage, all of that can be applied in the digital layer. And if we consider that, it means that the way traffic systems work could become much more dynamic and much more free-flowing. So you just have sort of open spaces and you drive according to where the markings tell you to go. The problem of the actual interface is something that I get asked about a lot. You know, how does this technology actually work? You know, what is the, the hardware apparatus that we need to see it? I'm aware of some projects happening right at the moment which are sort of set to kind of revolutionize this kind of process. It's not like Google Glass putting on, but it's something much, much bigger and much deeper. With an overlay, you're always going to be limited. So people are now looking into like contact lenses, for example, which apparently are doing pretty well. And the other big thing I think is, is about kind of projecting directly onto your retina. So it uses kind of system of little mini projectors that, that kind of point directly in.